Well, hello and welcome. In this video, I'm going to show you the start in my journey of getting a fountain pen to fill with waterproof ink. So come along with me as I open my package and discover <laughs> how to fill this um, ink cartridge with ink and then put it in my fountain pen. So this is a fountain pen uh, made by Sailor. Um, it's all, I'm pretty sure it's Japanese, probably katakana. Uh, fun fact, um, I was homeschooled, but I took some classes at the local middle school and some of them were like different languages. So I learned a little bit about Japanese, but I could be wrong, but it reminds me of katakana characters. So this is supposed to be a converter sailor fountain pen converter um kind of covers up the instructions so i can peel it off carefully um i've been wanting to do a pen for a while ink pen um but not my dip pen because i don't want to bring that out and about so okay <clears throat> Here's the huh, instructions. And then this is the ink I got. It's carbon ink, platinum carbon ink. And once again, looks like Japanese characters. Here's the instructions on how to use it. So let's use it. Oh, here's some English. I, I found some English on here. Look at that. Mm hmm. English. <laughs> so it says how to use a reservoir. The reservoir may be used when there is more than 5 cc of ink remaining in the bottle. Please follow up the four steps below when filling the ink using a converter. In this way, you can obtain a necessary amount of ink to soak. An appropriate amount of ink will be filled by a single turnover. Number one, make sure the cap of the ink bottle is tightened. Number two, after tightening the cap, slowly fill the bottle upside down and turn back. Number three, the reservoir will be filled with ink upon turning back the bottle. Number four, remove the ink bottle cap and make sure there is enough ink. Then dip the nib into the reservoir until it stops to soak ink. Parentheses. Once filled, please use a towel, etc., to soak up the excess ink on the pen cover to avoid stain, hands, etc. So that tells me I need a paper towel. I'll just use a paper towel from painting. So let's open these up, shall we? Okay, Sailor Japan. It says Sailor Japan. There's no clip thingy. Uh, oh, it's screw. I'm like, why is it coming off? Okay. Screw. Top. This is my first refillable fountain pen. Probably since the calligraphy set my mom got me forever ago. ink already in there? Yeah, it looks like there's ink already in here. Huh. Oop. More directions in English. Look at that. Push ink converter into a gripping section firmly, then turn knob in the direction of the arrow so plunger goes fully down. Figure one. Okay. Dip nib 
assembly into ink and slowly turn knob in the direction of the arrow to draw ink into converter, figure 2. Wipe residue ink from nib before use. Um... Okay, let's <laughs> figure this out, shall we? What does this do? Oh, look at that. Look at this. Ah, I took it apart. <laughs> okay. Pictures. Okay, so this is the knob. Oh, I see. I I see, I think. This goes in there. Firm. Pushing firmly in, and then we bring the plunger all the way to the nib. And so to draw the ink out, I will bring the plunger up. It's kind of like a syringe. Plunger down to get the ink. Plunger up to draw in the ink. And then it stays like that inside the pen. And it does fit. Okay. Take this guy apart. Let's get the ink out. It is such a pretty bottle. Look at that. Okay. So this says open. Oh, you know what? I should put something down so I don't ruin my table. One moment. All right, let's open this. Oh boy. Wait, what was I supposed to do? No. Close that. This says, put upside down. Make sure ink is tightened. The bottle's tightens. Turn. So we flip the bottle upside down and turn back. A reservoir will be filled with ink upon turning back the bottle. Okay, check. Remove the ink top, the cap. Make sure there's enough ink. Then dip the nib into the reservoir until it stops to soak ink. Okay. So, my plunger is back. No. I want to do a plunger all the way to the nib, like that. And then I'll draw the ink in. And now I open this, boop, and it's inky black. Um, put my nib in, and now I'm going to bring the plunger up. Nope, nothing happened. Um. I'm going to stain my hands, aren't I? In, plunger up. Nope. Nothing's happening. Do it again. Oh my gosh, what am I doing wrong? Waterproof ink. Maybe I should have worn gloves. <sighs> okay, slowly turning plunger. Very slowly. 
Oh, I see some ink coming up. There we go. Ha! Ah, my gosh. All right. Got some ink in there. Close this up. Wiping off excess ink. Getting ink all over me. Wiping off ink so I don't stain. Okay. Let's put this together. Let's test it out.
All right, it's a little test in my sketchbook. Let's do another little test, this time in a watercolor painting journal. So this spread is just some gouache that I added water to and then just slapped on the paper and then later I came in with a brown marker and just drew some trees. is not waterproof so we will play how waterproof it is or isn't Let's test it out. The marker is disappearing and the ink is staying, it looks like. I wonder if the ink of the marker would give me some water spots. You know, I've never painted with markers before. Hmm. The ink is definitely staying, which I am quite happy with. I've heard multiple good reviews about this ink from a couple artists on YouTube and then reviews on um, Amazon. So I'm going to add these to my Amazon storefront. So if you want to order everything that I just ordered, check that out. The link will be in the description of this video. Well, thank you so much for coming along with me. Um, get ready to see some pen and ink in with my art. I think I'll be playing around with this a lot more. It'll be a lot easier to use than the dip pen. I hope this video has inspired you. Please make sure to like this video if you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave. And I will see you in the next video.